Dave, how are you, man? Fine, how are you doing? Great to see you. Nice seeing you again. Welcome to Tucson, or I'm happy to be back in Tucson, I should say. I can't believe how fast that, from the last year. It seemed like I saw you two months ago, but my God, you got all these cases totally set up now. Yeah. And you're pretty much finished with the place, I hear. This year was the last year for construction for us. It wasn't, you know, fully completed last year. So this is all gallery material that is 50% off. Oh, okay. And basically, you know, every year we try to, we take specimens that we've either not sold or that we've had for a while. Yes. And we offer them up instead of, you know, selling them to other dealers, we oftentimes just put them out and mark them at 50% what we had on them and the collectors get to take advantage of that discount. Very good. So it's yeah. fun. We get to yeah. have a lot of pretty material out yeah. actually. That's great. And then if we go this okay. way. Okay. This is a oh, nice miniature fun case. case. Oh, miniatures my God. case. Miniatures. It's just unbelievable. Some of the things in here. A lot of people. Here, here's an crazy. example. See this diop aside here? Now, I've seen some kind of thin ones, but to get a fat one like that of that type of color. Yeah, that color. I mean, this is the world's finest diopsides that have been coming out of the ground. I've seen diopsides from another classic locality, but, but color they never like, have that color, that, that neon electric unbelievable. color. Is Absolutely. Amazing. Lovely stuff. Oh, and I love that. A lot that, of good stuff that in here. Fluorite there. Yeah, isn't that a the, beautiful uh, thing? The aquamarine next to it. Oh, it was just. This, <laughs> Just goes on and on and on. We acquired the, the Ross Lilly collection back in October of uh, 2012. Was he from Illinois, the Southern he, Illinois collection? He uh, lives Detroit. in Detroit, okay. and he was the geologist working for them, finding okay, ore bodies. Okay, that's And so he started that. building okay. this collection. Okay. Back in almost 30 or 40 years ago. Okay. And he built the, the aforementioned collection of fluorites from that Illinois area and he just stockpiled and it was like 2,400 specimens. Wow, it was a huge okay. amount of material and it had incredible things in there like this. Yeah, I mean, beautiful. This piece yeah. is just a, a gorgeous fluoride. I don't know if you can see it, but it's, these are all recrystallized. Yes, it is. So they, they come out of the ground and they've been naturally etched. That's right. And then you can see this deposit of calcite has grown Very much back so. on, the, on the back. And I mean, the color is just beautiful, devastating. Just beautiful. The, the zoning, zoning is just incredible. Just phenomenal. Yeah, and you have a special little lighting. That's that's great how you did that. Yeah, we can. Yeah. You know, these cases allow you to to light things. That's right. Perfectly because you can change the position of the lights. Yeah. This was a, an, an amazing collection that had. I don't know. There was probably about 200 fluorites that were probably the wow. world's best fluorites. Wow. You'd, I always thought that Dalnagorsk had the best fluorites. Just quality, quality, quality. Certain and types. Certain were, types of yeah. clears and the light That's greens. Right. That's right. But for the colors and the variations yeah. and the, you know, the, just the saturation of, of four different colors sometimes in one cube, it was yeah. just phenomenal. Yeah. Exactly. So we, we did a big debut in Denver, the Denver show. Oh, very good. And we had yeah, about, make I think we had Denver. 10 of these cases. And we rented the, the, oh. um, a, a, a ballroom at the, the new Hyatt. And we oh. had the whole collection on display. And we threw a, a big party. And that went over great. And we, oh, we sold nice. a bunch of the fluorites there and very shared good. the whole collection very with good. the community. And that yeah. was a lot of fun. Well, that's and great. then uh, we uh, recently did a, a deal with the Arkenstone. And oh. they're taking a whole group of the material, a lot of more of the, the oddities and the strange pieces and, and the, the, the material that we just don't have the ability to mass market because he has a bigger vehicle for, for offering that to clients and he's going to start exactly. marketing that. Very it's good. Just too much material. Yeah, so. exactly. But some of the stuff is just yeah. gorgeous. Funny. When we opened the doors last night at 6 p.m., we had around 100 people outside the room and I don't know how many we had in attendance in the end total. It was, there were two waves. It was an early wave and a late wave. Um, but probably around 120 people came to the event, and, which was great. We didn't know what to expect. And it was a great rush when everyone came in and there was dead silence. It was silent for the first five to 10 minutes. No one spoke, which was really peculiar. And immediately I said, okay, somebody turn on some background music because you know, it was like you could hear a pin drop because people were trying to, I could tell what was going on in the brain process. People were trying to absorb what they were seeing. They weren't ready for you know, what they were about to see. And so Dalnagorsk pr predominantly produces clear cubes, 
and greenish cubes. And they are wonderful and they're incredible and the best of the best of those species, I mean of those examples, are, are treasured specimens, but they're far and few between. What makes Illinois is so unique is that you have blues, you have oranges, you have yellows, you have purples, you have yellow cores with purple phantoms and then a blue rind. You have those colors on white barite. You have those colors on white barite with sphalerite. You have those colors on white barite with sphalerite and calcite crystals growing off them. And the combinations are just, they're, it's incredible. The mineralogy that was working there, the forces that created those fluorites is, is unique in the world. And when I got to visit Ross's collection and see that for the first time in August, you know, I was shocked. I said, holy smokes, this is, this is something outstanding. And I didn't know, I really had no concept. Ross and I had been talking about, you know, potentially doing something with the collection over the course of probably a decade. I kept pestering him. But the reality is that I never knew what he had. I only knew from, you know, secondhand people that had visited him or something that his collection was really good. I knew he had the great stuff. I knew he had cornered the market on Illinois, but I didn't know what Illinois was. And so in the two days that I went to visit him in August, and I actually looked and went through all the boxes with Ross, my whole perspective of the collection and for fluorites in general changed. I was, uh, I was thrilled actually when I came in and, and looked around and uh, saw the, uh, the banners that sort of gave a brief description of my collection and uh, brief, uh, uh, historical overlook of the district. Um, it was wonderful to see them properly displayed for the for the first time. It was just it was great, and uh, I must admit I had an absolute ball talking with the uh, with the collectors and sharing the history of each rock and and all that. Uh, it was just uh, it was fun. I expected to come here and spend two hours, and I think I stayed for five. Uh, yeah, it was I forgot to eat dinner. I mean, it was just it was just a blast. Uh, I couldn't have been happier. So Ross, did Danny do a good job? He did. Yeah, <laughs> it was great. It was it was really a thrill. It was fun. Yeah. It yeah. was fun. We did we did a good job together. And Ross dealing yeah. with Ross is, as per his character, he's a great man and really has a lot of my respect. It's mutual. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So you, we've seen a lot of material from Milpilis coming out lately. Ooh, look at this. But Isn't that a jewel. Look at the brilliance. My God, it's mirror bright. This oh, this has color. You know, the combination oh, of the, the white matrix, matrix yes, yes. and the isolation. Yeah. You know, I've seen a lot of these new ones that are these crystals that are all intergrown. Yes. And they're beautiful. Yeah. But they just don't have that, that see that I contrast. isolation by themselves with the light getting in there, you can see they just, just, it just they glow. Chris, can you bring me my flashlight? The black one? I think it's up here on the desk. That's gorgeous. Perfect. Thank you. And what you, the nice thing yeah, is, look at that. Look at that. All the little, the, the big oh. blades are are not translucent, but the right. little baby yeah. ones look like little blue. Oh, sapphires. Sapphires. Cashmere yeah, blue sapphires. It should be labeled cashmere blue sapphire with azure. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you get, get a million. Bucks you get a million right. bucks for that. Yeah. And then from look the same locality. Malachite. What a beautiful mal. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Love that. It's all complete. Yeah, there was one pocket of these, and there and was only a handful. And that's in the same uh, same place. Fantastic. Milpilis. Great. And those blades there are barites. Okay. So clear barites. Very but good. Yeah. These are. There were three or four of these. I showed you one of these a few years ago. That was yeah. fantastic. It's from the same pocket. Okay. And then this is just oh, fun. Big appetite. On a that. big appetite from Canada. But look, look at how at that, that presents. Isn't that a beautiful double terminated too? Yeah. And beautiful. glassy. Usually oh, these yeah. things are. Kind are not dull. nearly as sharp or, yeah. or perfect. No, that's that's a killer. Wow, what a calcite. Look at this thing. Are you ready for this? Twinning, look at this thing. Just perfect. We don't have any a light jewel. Here. That's amazing. Oh, I mean, for, for the Kazakhstan locality, that's oh, the best fabulous. one for my money. Yeah, I've never seen anything like that. It just sits it's up like it's man-made. Look at it that. Yeah, yeah that's the view. Yeah, that's how I like it. the view. Straight up and down. Yeah. And the crystal just, boom. Yeah. Holy. It's a total floater. Yep. So it came off. You can see yep. it just just a couple Absolutely of pieces of rock. Absolutely isolated by itself. And totally perfect. And yep. it's got the 
the acicular malachite coating the, the matrix, and then it has malachite that has primary malachite, primary malachite grown in the center of that big crystal. That's right. Fabulous. Just Top a, color. This is great. This is old Himalaya. Oh, yeah, it sure is. That's a beauty. That was in the Paul wow. Heisey collection. Oh, boy, I haven't heard that name for in a, a long, long time. time. Holy yeah. cow. He was on the way out when I started. I was about 14 okay. years old. My, Russ Binky brought my dad there, and my dad bought that piece from okay. Paul Heisey that day. I've had Beautiful. that piece sitting in a drawer for Just think of that. 20 years. Beautiful. More, 25 Just years. Beautiful. And this is just a jewel. Yeah, it's a jewel. Pophilite with the still bite. India. Killer. And good color. Perfect balance. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Totally all there. See that? And then this is neat. This is oh. fluorite and tourmaline from Stucknala. That is beautiful. Perfect miniature. Yeah. Ah, look at that. Oh, these things are hard to get now. You just don't see them. I've seen some, mm -hmm. but here with the balance of this, this is a killer. Yeah. Absolutely a killer. Now, this is fun. This is something I've branched out into. I've been working on for about a year because I have a couple of clients that are looking. They collect minerals. Mm -hmm. They want specimens, but... Ooh, look at that. Thank you very much. I'll take that. Isn't <laughs> that a jewel of a thing? Nice octahedron. It's 33.38 carats. Holy And it's going to cut a... Uh, they do a crystal mapping uh, of the stones so they know what they can cut, and they can cut a 21-carat cushion out of that. Wow. That'll be, it won't be intense or vivid, but it'll be yellow. It won't be light. What, you can see the light yellow when you have it against the white, yes. but when you cut the stone, oh, yeah, it then refracts it yeah. all the concentration Very of the, much of the color of yeah. into one area. I had a five carat D flawless, brilliant Ooh. cut. I really? For a couple years, yeah. Look at this thing. Australian. Isn't that a gorgeous thing? That's a beautiful piece. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. It's, it's... Love that color. Oh, beautiful. Opals are gorgeous. Have you oh, ever seen a scapulite? Like, like not that, that jemmy. And I've that seen them. sharp. It, it, that's what I mean. Jemmy, sharp, perfect. Look at that thing. That's crazy. Yeah. As soon as you hand it to me, I knew, no, this is not a topaz. Right it's away, you think light. it's a topaz quick, but it's, yeah. it is it's yeah. lighter than topaz. Because it's much lighter. Oh, that's fantastic. It's the best one I've ever seen. It's the best I have one to be I've ever honest seen with well. you. I've never seen anything that cool. This is probably the best one from the find. Oh, my God, look at that. Just crazy geometry. And oh. I mean, for scapolite, no one's it's ever seen that before. No. Never seen anything this quality. I've seen some of these color clear, but not. Yeah. This has all these beautiful faces, and and it, it's so uh, sharp and uh, bright. The luster, stuff. this is absolutely fantastic. And they're totally floaters. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're recrystallized. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Very strange. Never saw it before. Fantastic. Look at that. Isn't that a neat thing. Isn't that fun. That and it's fun because really something. so the stalactite is yes. growing from the ceiling. Yes, like this. Yes, and it's grown like that. Yeah, and this spot right here is the water table. Oh, so when yeah. it's dripping, 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 oh, dripping, dripping pizza. over millions of years, and then at some point it gets here, and it, yeah. because something's happening, yeah, the crystals are able to grow and form in the water. How interesting! And it's just, That's fantastic. Very cool. Yeah. Don't see anything like that around. Oh no. my God. Oh, this is from the same formation, oh, but a different that. style. Oh yes, yes, yeah. Look at that. Are you ready for that? And the glassiness. I mean, oh, look at the God. quality of the calcite. Beautiful. All the this way around. It's all doubly terminated here. Yeah, it's all complete. And it looks like some sort of spaceship or something. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Look at that thing. Looks like it's from Star Wars. Or, I don't know. But it's beautiful. It, it's amazing to find stuff today with all the minerals that have come out of the ground over the years, still different, unusual things come out. Yeah. It really is amazing. So this is something that I got for one of my clients, and I know it's not uh, naturally grown in nature. I and mean, you've seen this material, you'll recognize it right away. But for what these are, this Zincite? is by far the best example. Not even close. 
That and so these were grown nice. in, uh, I think, a furnace or a smelter, I yeah. forgot, in Poland. Okay. And they're a byproduct from the smelting process. But, I mean, the fact that they crystallized. And yes. It just, and the, the color. color is, you know, oh, incredible. It's fantastic. Beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, I've seen clusters like this and, yeah. you know, things been that. But not like that. Not like that. This was one of the and mine color. engineers that worked there. Wow. And he had bought this and kept it in his collection. Or it yeah. produced and he got to keep it. Yeah. Fantastic. Incredible thing. Yeah. Yeah, because of the temperature oh, sensitivity. Totally look, look at that thing. Oh, my God. Isn't that a killer? That's insane. It's the best uh, <laughs> big one I've ever seen. It's the best big look one I've ever seen, cracks too. cracks running through it. Yeah. Now. I mean, look at it. It's oh, like near oh. gem. It's one oh, giant crystal. Unbelievable. Sitting on another oh, smaller crystal. God. I mean, the color is Never seen anything like devastating. that. Devastating. Yeah, it's the biggest one I've ever seen of size of crystallization. Yeah. Yeah. Fabulous. Phenomenal. Ah. So this oh, was... these are really neat. These yeah, are wild things. Oh, yeah, this is totally different. So I haven't seen any of these, that type. So oh, those are halites. Yeah. yeah. And they're, they're grown stacking. And then you have these selenites crystals growing off at all different directions, yes. these twin fishtail selenites. And then there's another generation of halites grown on the selenites. Okay. So it's just this is wonderful oh. combinations. Fantastic. Totally new okay. find. Okay. And they. No, I haven't seen any of these. They glow like crazy oh, I in, a, in a UV light. Yeah. Okay, because so when you said German, I said, oh, I don't remember that locale. Yeah, it was That's an old, old know. salt mine. Okay. And they hadn't operated it in like 100 years, and yes. they were doing a, because salt mines can be dangerous places where they're, they're, they'll keep eroding, and then if there's empty hollows, they'll fall in. That's right. So they were doing a cut under a roadway to get into where there was some tunneling because they were going to backfill it, and they opened up this huge pocket oh. in a 100-year-old mine. Wow. Good. So it's neat because the, the halite fluoresces orange. Yes. And the selenites fluoresce like a white through the cores. Yeah. So it's a really cool combo. Beautiful. So great mineral specimens and also great fluorescence. Yes. I mean, look at this. This is crazy. The way that the halites are. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful thing? And when did this come out? Did you know what? I think right before the Munich show this okay. year. So like probably... Uh, October. Okay. Uh, not October. Uh, September. Probably September, October. Yeah. Of 2013. Right. Okay. This is one of my favorite new minerals. Ooh, look at that amethyst. This thing. That's beautiful. It's a total floater. Is it African? African. Yeah. Look and at that thing. It's totally complete. It's totally complete. It grew. There is no point of attachment. I can't yeah. find one. Is it right here? What's this? Right. There. No, it's that's, a terminated crystal. That's yep, doubly it terminated. Is. It is, yeah. They're all, it's all complete. It's, it, it totally, the whole thing is complete. Total floater. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Look at that. That's just oh, a gorgeous Oh, aesthetically, thing. that is an extraordinary thing. Isn't that amazing? Oh, it's beautiful. I love that. This color. Look at that. Yeah, there's, oh, there's all varying degrees of color on these things, and I mean... That is extraordinary. This one has top outstanding color, color and yeah, luster. It's top color. And the nice thing is you can, you can now handle them because he gets them here... Yes. ...with this system in these little cubes. Yes. And then you can take them off the, the bottom where he's glued them down, yeah. and they, they have handleable matrixes. So it's not, it's not really dangerous to handle them once you've gotten them here. Yes. It's getting them to where you got to go. That is correct. <laughs> That's the That's, trick. That is the trick. But you can hold these with, you know, matrix yeah. easily now. Yeah. Putting them in the case. I mean, I have one in the case over there. Yes. But I mean, the color That's is just wonderful. devastating on these things. And then they're like little bushes coming out. Of the, look at that thing. It, it's just amazing. You can get those out of the ground and get them here all the way to the United States. Yeah. He does a like great that. job. Yeah, he really does. I mean, that is really amazing. Uh, I just pulled out of the box here a killer uh, smithsonite of deep rose pink color. And it's just fabulous. And they're very hard to get nowadays. They're not finding this today. The, the, this came out of a collection. It's obvious. But that is fabulous crystallization in combination of the deep rose color that they are. Because they do vary in the color. And this happens to be a very, very fine, deep color. 
people, this is really fun and still late. Oh my goodness. One of these quartzes. These quartzes and hematites. That's really something. Look at the size of this with the roses, yeah. Isn't that amazing? From China. They came out a few years ago. Yeah, they came yeah. out a while back. This yeah. is a new find with some sort of like... Okay. Burnt... More red-like. Yeah, more yeah. red. Yeah. Definitely more red and has a, a red-orange tone to them. Fantastic. God. Beautiful piece. Just a radiating spray. See, there's one thing I've noticed, Daniel, is that you have so many things that are complete. Yeah. That's what's hard to get in good minerals, to get it all complete, everything, not just a chunk in there, oh, this part here. Everything is just so well balanced. That's the trick. Yeah. yeah. Balance you and efficiency. It. I've been looking at Brazilian amethyst for years, and there was a, a geo that was produced in, in Brazil and by uh, the company Lodi Stone. And Lo Lodi Stone is probably one of the biggest amethyst dealers in the world. That, hey, has a huge monopoly, and I think, uh, I'm not sure, I think his name is Giovanni Lodi, he's one of the owners of the company. They produced this geode and they kept it for himself for 15 years. Wouldn't sell it because the quality was just so outstanding. Holy cow, and that's Brazil. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, there's nothing like that. That's unbelievable, I would never think it was Brazil. No wonder they kept it. Look at that. It's unbelievable. The points where you could cut giant oh, balls of yeah. stones oh, oh, out of Oh, yeah. There's a lot the of size cutting of golf in there. balls. Yeah. That's an unbelievable thing. The saturation I mean, of it's color as, is... It's as good as amethyst gets, period. Yeah. And then the, the perfection of it and the yeah, size. Yeah, it's all glassy the gemming, perfect. It's, yeah, that's, that is totally... Totally unbelievable. And we just got this delivered here so we don't have the nice presentation, but yeah. I thought I would at least oh, share it yeah. with you. I'm so glad you did that. That's a major, major thing. You never think of amethyst, that type of coloration, size. I mean, it has everything that you wouldn't think it was Brazil and think it was like Uruguay or something. I mean, uh, Uruguay. And, uh, uh, and here it's from, you say it's from Brazil. That's, that's unbelievable. Yeah, look at the size, that top. You can cut stone, not that you would ever do it, you'd be crazy, but look at the co quality of color. It's yeah, got that it's red, and it's a Siberian red type of amethyst. It's just crazy. Oh my God, it's unbelievable. Thanks, Daniel, once again. Great to see you. Wonderful job.